Hi guys, welcome to SQL Server Reporting Services tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a uh, integer drop down based report uh, where I will pass integer as a parameter to display the records from the database okay, as a drop down. So, to do that, first go to Solution Explorer and right click on reports add new report and click give it a name give a name to your report like integer drop down parameter report okay click add increase the size and first we need to create a data source right click on data source and then click add data source give a name to our data source share data source underscore teaser drop down okay as you know I'm using share data source connection from past tutorials so in this video also I'm, I'll be using share data source connection click OK we can see there is a small arrow appearing on the cylinder which is referring or pointing to the shared data source which I have uh, data, shared data source connection which I have made at the very beginning of this tutorial series so uh, now I have created my data source and now it's time to create our data sets add data sets then underscore sorry teacher drop down use a data set embedded embedded data set and create, uh, select our shared data source connection and select the query and customer let's select the tables so and our editors orders products add close select the appropriate fields company name quantity unit price and see that these are uh, these all fields I am randomly I mean uh, randomly I am picking up just for the sake of showing one report I am selecting the fields the product ID product name okay now in filter as a uh, as I am filtering the records based on the product ID that's why I have uh, I am passing a product ID as a parameter at sorry product ID then as soon as I enter I will get a criteria in my query you can see I am selecting the, the selecting these many fields and I am joining these many tables and I am uh, with the help of where clause and I am making this product ID as a parameter to fetch the records from the database Okay, as soon as I create a filter it will appear here in a where clause now click ok click ok again okay, now let's right click and insert a table just, just product drag our fields product name company name quantity and unit price okay, let's, let's give it a width and give it a background color as this one and make it as bold and give a white color ok as you can, you can see here as soon as I add a filter here um, as soon as I add a filter here to my product ID SQL server will, will uh, make that filter as a parameter and display in that parameter in this parameters list ok now we need to customize the uh, this parameter settings ok please select product id ok here data type should be integer because I am passing an integer value to my database so, uh, to fetch the appropriate record and uh, ok and this much okay this much is enough and click ok let's see our report 
okay now it's showing me a text box okay before that I need to uh, one thing you keep in mind while if you want to create a drop down that um, drop down uh, will accept some values right like uh, product IDs or product names to display those product IDs or product names or any data into your drop downs you need a different data set okay apart from this data set you need an extra data set which will uh, which can we can use to display in our uh, drop down in other words we will create an another data set and we will uh, display that data set values into our drop down okay let's create another data set right click and uh, click another data set data set score product id and use the embedded one select the day uh, share data source connection go to query cell query designer and select the table since i am uh, uh, fetching the records or i am passing a parameter as a product id so uh, i i am concerned with only products table so click products and i want product id and product name okay now click ok click ok you can see an another data set has been created here this this uh, ds underscore product id data source data items or columns i'm going to pass into my drop down okay so how to do that uh, see uh, now uh, our uh, text uh, now our criteria section is displaying a text box um, in order to, um, uh, instead of text box i want to display a drop down so for that reason i have created uh, uh, an another data source and let's come here and right click on parameter properties select data type as integer come to available values select uh, see specify values here there is an option of specify values if you select this here you need to add some static values and those static values will be displayed in your drop down but I don't want to um, pass some static values I want the data to be fetched from the database or from, or in other words I want the data to be fetched from this data set which is I have created okay uh, as you can see in this data set I have product ID and product name this product ID I will be passing as a value and pro uh, both okay uh, actually I have uh, used product name also but it's, uh, it won't come in use because in um, both value and label I will um, display product ID okay and get value from a query now select your data set so select DS product ID and value will be product ID and label also will be the product ID because I want to display um, level product ID uh, to the users and I want to pass product ID product ID from the background to my backend to my database to fetch the appropriate record so click ok now if you uh, go to view preview your report you can see you have got a uh, drop down now you can see now you are uh, now you have been given a list of product IDs if you select any one of the product ID and view report see you will be given the list of products which are of the product ID 1 if I select 39 it will display me the product with the product ID 39 okay this is how you can create a drop down criteria uh, where you can uh, where you can display product ID as a criteria and pass the, and use that criteria to display the record okay uh, in my next video I will uh, show I will create the drop down to display the uh, product names okay I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.